Lacey here with The Sweet Pea Chef, and today I wanna to talk to you about the number one question I get asked, the number one, and that is, Lacey, how do I calculate my macros? Now, this question doesn't always come in that format. Instead, it comes in a bunch of different ways. Lacey, how come I can't lose weight? I wanna lose weight, I don't know how to get started. I can't stop gaining weight, please help. Am I eating too many calories? Is it okay if I have a protein shake after my workout? What am I doing wrong, I keep gaining weight? I haven't been able to lose weight in two months and I've been trying everything, please help. When you really get down to it, all of those questions just funnel to the same thing and that's understanding your macros. How many calories you need to eat to lose weight, gain weight, or maintain your weight. What your body burns on a daily basis with all of the energy that you're expending. So today I'm gonna share with you what macros are, why they're super important for you to reach your goals, and how to calculate them for your unique body. So let's get started. So the word macros is short for macronutrients, and those are the larger parts of what make up our daily intake of calories. It's broken down into three parts, protein, carbs, and fats. Now we can break those down even further, but for the purposes of this video, just know that protein, carbs, and fat make up your total calories. So one gram of protein is equal to four calories. One gram of carbohydrate is equal to four calories, and one gram of fat is equal to nine calories. So that's what calories are. They're not good or bad, they just represent the total number of those macronutrients that you're eating in a day. Think of calories as energy. When you give a car gasoline for it to drive, you're giving your body calories for it to function. So now we need to understand why calories are so important for our bodies. And in order to do that, I need to tell you about the basal metabolic rate. That's your BMR for short. So your basal metabolic rate is incredibly important to understand because it's your base level of calories your body needs needs to burn in order to function. So you burn calories just being awake, having your body regulate its temperature, blinking your eyes, having your heart pump your blood, all of those burn calories. And we need a certain level of those to just have a basic ability to thrive and survive. Then any physical activity you do in a day, whether it's washing the dishes, getting up and chasing your two-year-old around the house, making dinner, walking the dogs, exercising, all of those require additional calories to burn for energy. And that total, if you take your BMR and your additional activities, is called your total daily energy expenditure, your TDEE. And that's basically, in a general day, that's the total number of calories you're burning in a day. And fortunately, we can actually take that information and then we can include your height and your weight and your age and a few other factors, and then we can calculate how many macros you need to reach your goals, whether that's to lose weight, maintain your weight, or gain weight. In order to do that, we need to understand the mifflin St. George equation. It's a fancy name, but it's pretty simple and it'll help you determine how many calories you burn in a day. So in order to calculate this, you need to know your weight, your height, and your age. For men, you take 10 times your weight in kilograms plus 6.25 times your height in centimeters minus 5 times your age plus 5. For women, you take 10 times your weight in kilograms plus 6.25 times your height in centimeters minus five times your age in years minus 161. I'll keep this on the screen for you to screenshot and I'll also put it down below in the description so you have access to it. Then we're gonna multiply that by an activity factor and that's to take into account what type of lifestyle we have. Are we running around all day and super busy on our feet working or do we have more of a sitting at your desk kind of lifestyle? So if you're sedentary, so you have limited exercise, it's gonna be 1.2 times that number. If you're lightly active, so you have some light exercise, maybe three days per week, you're gonna multiply it by 1.375. If you're moderately active, you're gonna multiply it by 1.55, and that's if you're getting a decent amount of exercise most days, but not always. If you're very active, you would multiply it by 1.725, and that is just having hard exercise every day, you're always really going. Then you can have extra active, which would be multiplied by 1.9, and that is you are doing strenuous activity on most days. So the result of all of that, once you take the total from that first equation and you multiply it by your activity factor, will give you your TDEE, your total daily energy expenditure. And that is a very important number because that tells you the number of calories you're burning every day. In order to lose weight, you need to eat less calories than that number. In order to gain weight, you need to eat more calories than that number. In order to maintain your weight,
weight, you need to eat the same amount of calories as that number. It's pretty simple. It just requires you to understand what your goals are. So now that we have that total number of calories that we're burning each day, we need to figure out how to break that down into the macronutrients, into how much of a percentage of fat, carbs, and protein we're gonna be eating of that total amount of calories. The general guidelines for carbs are about 45 to 65% of your total calories. For fats, it's gonna be about 20 to 35% of your total calories. And then for proteins, it's gonna be about 10 to 35% of your total calories. And all of these can kind of fluctuate based on your goals and what you're wanting to do. And keep in mind, these are all just general recommendations. They are not specific for your needs. Personally, I like to have a higher percentage of protein. I find that when I eat more protein, I feel fuller and not as hungry, and it allows me to both gain muscle and burn fat at the same time. So for me, my total calories that I eat in a day are 2,100 calories right now. So as you can see, your macros really depend a lot on your dietary preferences, your lifestyle, and what your goals are. So if you've never tracked your calories before, I recommend taking this kind of slowly. Get an app like MyFitnessPal so you can keep track of what you're eating on a daily basis. So just kind of get a guideline and a baseline for what you're currently doing. Don't dive into changing all of your macros yet. Instead, try to understand what you're doing in general in a typical day. A lot of times if we dive head on into something, we're gonna just try to, we're gonna eat all the kale and the carrots and the celery, and that's just not realistic. You wanna see where you're coming from so that you don't just do a super giant shock to your system when you start following new macros and recommendations for that. More than following your specific macros each day, it's really important that you understand what you're having, how it adds up into your daily calorie needs, and why you're choosing the foods you're choosing. That's gonna have so much more of a lasting effect on your success in the long run than meeting that exact macro that day. And the whole process takes some practice. It takes a little bit more energy to track your food and to understand what's happening and to pay attention to everything. You're gonna need to pay attention to those nutrition labels and understand all of that. I also caution you to not obsess over the numbers. I know it's hard and we're trying to follow all these specific numbers, but keep them as guidelines for how to approach your day, how to approach each meal, and to make sure you're giving your body what it needs to reach your goal. Once you start to incorporate these guidelines, pay attention to how your body reacts. Are you losing any weight? Are you gaining weight? How do you feel in your clothes? Do you feel like you have inflammation? How do you feel when you look in the mirror? How do you feel with your energy levels? All of this will indicate how effective your macros are and whether or not you need to tweak it a little bit. And feel free to check out my 30 day healthy program. I offer a custom macro calculation upgrade on that if you're interested and having me calculate your macros for you. And we go through 30 days of education on stuff just like this to help you lose weight and feel supported. And I'll see you in the next video.